ClickHouse vs. InfluxDB, full comparison for time series and analytical databases. Hey everyone, welcome back. In today's video, we're comparing two high-performance databases built for handling massive amounts of data, ClickHouse and InfluxDB. If you're working in time series data, analytics, or large-scale reporting, this breakdown will help you choose the best tool for your project. Without further ado, let's dive in. First is the ClickHouse. It is best for real-time analytics and reporting. Columnar storage engine optimized for ready heavy workloads, making analytical queries extremely fast. Second is real-time data ingestion. Supports real-time data processing with high throughput and it sales horizontally. Works well with distributed system and a large-scale data storage. With an advanced SQL support, full support for SQL queries with complex joints, aggregations, and analytical functions. But is resource-intensive, requires a significant memory and CPU resource for high performance, and not purpose-built for time series. Can handle time series but lacks of specialized time series functions. But it's still best for business that needs for analytical queries across large datasets for reporting business, intelligence, and real-time analytics. For ado, let's dive into the InfluxDB, which is best for time series data and lot applications. The purpose of built time series database, designed specially for time series data like metrics, events, logs. Second is efficient storage, uses compression algorithms to optimize storage for time series data. Third is the built-in retention policies, automatically manage data expiration without manual intervention. Fourth is the Deflux query language which is powerful query engine for advanced data manipulation and analysis, but it is only limited for complex joints, not ideal for multi-table joints or relation data. Scalability requires enterprise version, which is horizontal scaling is only available in paid version, but it's still best for monitoring system, LOT devices, real-time analysis, and senior data, and applications that deal primarily with the time series data. And without further ado, let's dive into our final verdict. First is use ClickHouse if your primary focus is on large-scale analytics, complex queries, and generating real-time reports for business and intelligence. On the other hand, use InfluxDB if you're dealing with a time series data from sensors, LLT devices, or monitoring systems and need built-in retention and efficient storage for real-time base events, which database suits your needs. Drop your thoughts in the comments. I really hope this comparison clarified which database works best for your next big project. If it did, please like and subscribe and hit that bell icon for more tech insights. I'll catch you into the next one. Thank you for watching.